Lewis structure of NaCl, by far one of the most common ionic Lewis structures that get asked. Sodium is a metal. It comes from the left-hand side of this staircase, and so it's going to give up its electrons. Chlorine is a non-metal. It will accept electrons, and I know it's a non-metal because it comes from the right-hand side of the staircase. So there, it's going to form an ionic compound because it's a metal and a non-metal getting together. Now, sodium is in group one. It brings one valence electron with it. Chlorine is in group 17, and so it brings seven valence electrons. I've just memorized that, but you can remember it because group 17 brings seven. Get it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven electrons. Now, sodium is a metal and wants to give away its electrons to a non-metal like chlorine. That happens because there's something called electronegativity, but you can probably just remember it for now too. So sodium would like to give away its one electron. That will give it an empty outer shell. Chlorine is one electron shy of having a full eight and satisfying its own octet rule. So what's easy here is that that one electron can move from sodium to chlorine and make both of the atoms happy. Chlorine will have accepted an extra electron and now has eight around it. That is by definition an octet. And because it had one extra electron compared to before, it has a minus one charge on it. These square brackets represent the fact that this is an ion with a charge. You have to tell people what the charge is as well. Sodium gave away its outermost electron. And so it is drawn with no electrons around it. Because it gave up an electron, it's also an ion, and you have to tell the people it's a plus one charge, because it gave away one electron. I know it's weird that it gets a plus charge when it lost an electron, but an electron is a negative charge, and so losing a negative gives you a positive. Cool. This is the complete Lewis structure for NaCl. What matters is that sodium does not have its outermost electron and chlorine has it because it gave it away. That's how you show your teacher you understand ionic bonding. You're welcome. Best of luck.